Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome to another sushi video. Everybody loves sushi and I do too. So today we are at Atami Sushi, which is a sushi restaurant in Hamilton and or kind of Stony Creek. Um, so the Hamilton area in Ontario, Canada. So as you can see, kind of they have the menu. It is a paper order system. It was a fair size menu. Um, like it may look like it was relatively large, but it was only a fair size. So started off with my personal favorites. Generally I go for the sushi um, of the spicy salmon and what is supposed to be spicy tuna. Um, I know usually I order white tuna or like the spicy white tuna, etc. And people always tell me that it is not actually tuna. It is some kind of like, I don't know, some fish that starts with an E, um, kind of similar to, I don't know, a mackerel or some weird fatty fish or something of some sort. And this was the first time that I've ever kind of had it and I was like, yeah, this is kind of odd. So um, I actually came to this restaurant as per a subscriber recommendation. So I do all read all of your comments, I do respond to the majority of the comments as well, um, and I do listen to your recommendations. Again, I don't always, uh, or can't always take advantage of them, but whenever, whenever I can, I do try to. So came to these spicy salmon and spicy uh, tuna rolls, or sushis I should say. If you've watched any of my other sushi videos, you know one thing throws me off, and that is cold fish, because the fish is not supposed to be cold. Both the spicy salmon and the spicy tuna sushis, not these maki rolls I'm showing you, the sushis there uh, in front of me were very cold. Like undoubtedly the meat just came out of the freezer, the refrigerator, and in all reality they had it mixed up really, really odd. I've never had a spicy sushi or salmon, uh, spicy tuna or spicy salmon sushi in that variety, like the sushi, which is the singular pieces. Um, with the fish shredded as if it was cat food. I hate to say it, but I felt like I was eating cat food, which had some kind of spicy mayonnaise in it. It was, mm, let's, I'll just save my comments. Let's just say I had them and I kind of was not probably gonna return to them. We had some edamame as well that we're picking at. Um, which of course, I mean, there's no issues with that. I also had some crab tempura, which you watched me uh, eat there a few moments ago, um, which again was totally fine, no complaints there. This is a spicy eel roll. Uh, if you could kind of see, there was very little actual eel in it. It was more cucumber. Um, this is a uh, crispy or spicy uh, salmon maki roll. Um, no complaints, it was solid. Actually, all of the maki here were actually quite solid. Um, when it comes to size, the maki or the little sushi rolls that I'm eating currently, um, they were definitely on the smaller side of any of the rolls that I've ever gotten. Um, so, and I mean, not saying that's necessarily a bad thing, but I guess when Again, you've been around to a variety of different sushi restaurants. Um, you know, you are ex you are pleased sometimes. You are presented with items which exceed your expectations, and sometimes items fall a little short of your expectations. And these, the size of the maki rolls again were just fair. Uh, continue to obviously eat these uh, sushi rolls again kind of the way these restaurants or sorry these sushi pieces I should say the way these restaurants work is you order whatever you like again it isn't all you can eat um, and if you do not eat something then you have to pay for it full price of course this is an objective review this is just my experience 
and ultimately you know your experience may be very very different we were here on a saturday afternoon at lunchtime so i you know there was definitely a few tables in the restaurant um, but by that i mean like there's probably three tables in the restaurant including us um, so i would expect kind of on a saturday afternoon they'd be in i'd say relative swing um, you know not maybe like a monday where it was slow so anyway uh, but again this is my first time here i didn't really know what to expect so again, by this point, the items that I actually was enjoying were the maki rolls. The fish in the maki rolls were not cold. Um, they were, you know, again, room temperature or maybe, again, slightly colder than room temperature. But when I say cold, I'm talking like four degrees right out of the refrigerator cold. And I don't enjoy that. Um, the maki that I was enjoying were the salmon, the spicy salmon, the spicy crispy salmon, and the salmon with the avocado, and even just the plain salmon. Uh, I'm a big salmon roll person. Usually I really like the eel. Um, you know, if there's any kind of tuna or scallops, usually I like those, but in this case, um, I did not, or was not very much enjoying any of those rolls. Um, overall presentation of the maki rolls, again, was solid, but you know, when you get an item like a uh, barbecue eel roll, and there's basically no eel in it, it's just cucumber and eel sauce, it just really takes away from it and I mean you can't enjoy it the same. So of course when it came to ordering again I ordered what I was enjoying. Um, so this time I decided to try some uh, crab rolls um, which again used to kind of like the shredded crab they just kind of use a little like imitation stick crabby things. Um, then I went with the uh, crispy or spicy salmon rolls again which I was going with um, and it's kind of interesting. So I mean throughout this experience uh, very much I had to initiate the conversations um, we kind of were going through reviews before we came. Some of the reviews were like, oh, the staff isn't overly talkative, but that's pretty normal for a sushi restaurant. But we found that, I mean, I almost felt like we were being ignored, um, which was kind of, I mean, that's never a really nice feeling when you're at a restaurant. Um, and actually the first time I had to ask for like a piece of paper, um, like to order more, the guy was like, you want more? You want another paper? And I'm like, yeah, like we only had one order. Um, so that was kind of also interesting as well again because this isn't all you can eat I can understand maybe if we had like 10 orders in but this that was even just for our second order um, But that being said like once we had the sheet um, They you know were obviously fulfilling it um, Well, I mean actually there was once or twice where I had to be like are those items coming to which then they would Actually bring out those items. So I don't know if they were forgetting or being you know, selective what they brought out. I'm not really sure to be honest with you. Um, but you know, anything that we did order, we did eventually get whether having to ask for it a second time or not. Um, when it came to again, waters and stuff, we did eventually get it. However, often we have to ask for it. Um, Jen ordered some sort of a, I don't know, a dumpling dim sum thing, which I decided to try a few dim sum items a little later on. But of course for the time being just kind of finishing up these uh, maki rolls um, which I mean again they were like they were pretty reasonable um, and definitely the maki roll was the items that I was enjoying the most um, up to this point. Individuals often laugh at my uh, we'll say sodium consumption or use of soy sauce and I at this point already emptied the one container um, you know going into a second one here soon and obviously we're not uh, through the experience just yet, um, but here we got some more rolls. So of course, came time to order, got our second or our third order here, um, ordered what I was enjoying. So I had the salmon avocado rolls, which I was very much enjoying, and I ordered just the straight salmon maki rolls. And these were my favorite roll that I did order here today. Um, again, it's pretty basic, pretty simplistic, but what I really enjoyed is that you got a lot of salmon and it was just straight salmon. Often when I order uh, just salmon rolls at other locations, um, sometimes it is just straight salmon, sometimes there's some other kind of filler, but they did not have, they usually don't have that size of a portion of salmon in it. Usually it's a smaller portion because it's just the straight fish. Um, so here I was showing Jen how um, I like to take a salmon avocado roll or an avocado roll, and then if you eat it with, like in the same bite as just a straight salmon roll, you are getting like a, salmon avocado roll but you're getting a bigger better version of it so I usually I'll like you know I was eating two pieces at once kind of showing her there um, which again very impressed with the 
uh, salmon avocado rolls and just the straight salmon maki rolls. Um, and I wish all restaurants would kind of give just that portion of straight salmon in a maki roll. This is just uh, hot water that I have here. Um, I find often when I go to restaurants, uh, they give of water which is extremely cold, even if I ask for it without ice, or sometimes you ask with it without ice and you get ice anyway. So I always also like to have kind of a hot water or I'll ask for a warm water. Whenever I, I find whenever I go to an Asian restaurant, they're very, very good at having hot water or providing hot water and or warm water whereas more kind of Canadian American restaurants often when you ask for warm water um, I mean they can provide it but it's something you get a little bit uh, let's say looked at a little differently it's more of a stranger request whereas I feel uh, in my experience warm water is a pretty familiar uh, Asian thing now these were actually rolls which were part of our I believe it was the first order yes it was the first order so they were a rainbow roll that Jen ordered, and then for myself, they were a spicy tuna roll. Um, and then it was the uh, second barbecue eel roll that I ordered on the first order, which never came. I only got one when I ordered two. Uh, again, these were things from the first order. We already had our third order in front of us. Um, so this was uh, when I mentioned I had to kind of ask for items that didn't show up. That was this situation like i had to clarify like hey i ordered some spicy tuna rolls and we ordered some rainbow rolls etc like are those coming or should i reorder them um, to which the gentleman you know did investigate and they did eventually uh, come here um, but i had to come with you know upon asking per se so uh, same thing i kind of found with the uh, spicy tuna here it was again very obviously not the like actual tuna and all the tunas were white even though on the menu um, most places will clarify as like white tuna red tuna it was just straight tuna they only referred to it as one name and it was that I don't know escalar or whatever the white fake fish is uh, definitely definitely not an actual tuna um, still th but with this though again the same as the sushi pieces it was just cold um, a little warmer oddly enough which I'm not really sure because it was the same kind of shredded or mixed tuna that was in the individual sushis um, as are in these maki rolls but it was a little warmer which I mean again I do enjoy the fish at the appropriate temperatures um, but nonetheless I mean I was going to eat it it wasn't bad it just wasn't that great uh, at this point Jam is pretty much tapping out she had her fill um, to which you know I'll be honest with you I wasn't planning to order much more uh, there just wasn't anything that I was exceptionally enjoying there are things you know I was enjoying being really only the maki rolls but you know normally I'll go to a place and I'll find an item or two that I'm like this is just exceptional and I was very very much enjoying it um, whereas the items that I did find today that I was enjoying were the uh, salmon maki rolls um, and the salmon avocado maki rolls, which at this point, I mean, I've already had a couple dozen of those um, in my second and third orders. Then we had the rest of the first order there, which again, I was finishing up uh, as we went, which again included kind of the white tuna um, and again, some kind of a rainbow roll, which I think I was telling Jen to eat because she ordered it. Um, and then uh, some kind of a eel roll I believe I believe it was an eel roll the second eel roll because I only got one uh, the first time despite ordering two so although I mostly prefer to go to a restaurant alone if I am filming yes that is true despite I think maybe common belief or I guess maybe normal thought process I've been asked before like Joel why don't you bring people with you to do videos and I do sometimes uh, to what you know like my friend Jen here um, often like if I have an eater friend again they're very easy to go to a restaurant to eat with but I do most often prefer to go alone if I'm eating and doing a video that being said sometimes it is nice having somebody with me in this case because I am sometimes encouraged to try new items such as this rainbow roll so the rainbow roll was a cucumber avocado crab and then it had avocado and I believe it was tuna on top um, so it was like just a roll that I did end up finding quite nice um, 
that I just normally wouldn't order. Um, just again, usually I kind of stick to what I enjoy. Um, usually I'll order, you know, four or five different six items at the beginning and then reorder what those of which that I enjoy throughout the experience. But hey, I mean, like I said, sometimes having somebody else with you encourage you to try new items. Like in this case, I tried a rainbow roll. Not to say I haven't had a rainbow roll before, but it's just not something I just don't normally order. Here I went for a mango roll. Again, I usually like my fruit rolls. Um, I always never like the mango sauce. So when I go to restaurants that have mango rolls without mango sauce on them, I very much enjoy that. Sometimes, yes, you can translate that to the kitchen, but often at these all-you-can-eat places, it's kind of like the roll is made the way they make it, and you really can't have much or any alterations to it. So as you see, I just kind of try to wipe the mango sauce off. Um, if you've never had fruit rolls at a uh, sushi restaurant, if you go to an all-you-can-eat place like this, I definitely recommend trying it. I really enjoy the ones that have like uh, bananas in them because banana, bananas are usually the sweetest. So like banana strawberry, banana mango, or again, just like these straight mangoes can be very, very good. I also decided to try a couple other just uh, individual sushi pieces, a um, couple crab, and then a uh, s like tofu one. Um, I believe they call it, I forget what it's called, but like a, a tofu curd, bean curd, baked tofu, something along those lines, um, all of which I've had before. Again, at this, you kind of notice I'm ordering kind of some unconventional items. Again, I was really just trying to find something that I was enjoying. I wasn't full at this point. I mean, I'm not going to say I didn't necessarily get my money's worth, but I wasn't satisfied, um, you know, with the amount of food that I'd eaten compared to what I, like, enjoy. And... Uh, just in regards to taste and again some things were good But I was still trying to find something that was truly exceptional that I could stick with and order a few more of because I hadn't really found that yet I mean the best thing had been the sushi or the sorry, sorry the salmon uh, maki, but I mean, you know, I ordered quite a few of those In fact, you see those two little bowls by me. I actually ordered two uh, miso soups even um, You never see me order miso soup again kind of trying some unconventional items just trying to find, you know, something else to order, um, you know, that I again was enjoying or really digging. I did order um, some dessert items and a dim sum item or two, um, just for the heck of it kind of thing. Um, again, trying to find some items. So these were some, I believe they were called custard buns. And then I had a green tea or matcha ice cream and a mango ice cream. Um, the custard buns, if you never had them, it's just kind of a like sweet egg yolky kind of thick viscous filling inside of a very soft um, kind of squishy bun um, so I had again a couple of those I've had them before they're very um, traditional dim sum item um, so I just ordered a couple just for the heck of it um, the green tea matcha ice cream it wasn't bad it was um, wasn't you know again it wasn't bad the mango ice cream was very interesting it was definitely like a mango pineapple um, where you know versus just like a straight mango but I wasn't really surprised because I'm not really used to mango ice cream I've heard of like mango sorbets um, but a straight mango ice cream I ordered because I was like that's pretty different let's give it a try um, so yeah anyway that was about the experience everybody hope you enjoyed it and uh, that until next time stay happy healthy hungry get yourself some food and of course happy eating <laughs>
That's cool. Look at this place. This place is just like, it's so fluorescent and animated. It's actually super cool. What is it called? Wizard something golf? Yeah. Just look at it. Look how everything glows. Jen's hat's still glow. There's a big spider. Oh, I gotta call her. Shoot. Oh, uh, I mean, there's the hole, maybe. I think it works. Last hole. That was, that was pretty respectable, Jen. Good job. There's a big, big dragon. All right. Let's try it. All right, Jen, you want to want to record me? Ready? So the smoke hit really hard? No. Gentle. Okay. Joel is not the greatest golfer. Went in. And here we are on the Clifton Hill Strip. Here, look. I'll get a video of us actually now. All right. Look, now you can actually see me. Hi, everybody. And look, you can see Jen. Hi. Say hello. So now we're going to go pee. And uh, now we gotta go check out the wax museum. Later on, we're gonna try to go on that big sky wheel and all that good stuff. Niagara Falls. It's okay. We'll have enough time to pee and then go. All right, so here we are in the Ripley's, believe it or not, wax museum. So here's uh, Robert De Niro of Goodfellas. We have Bob Hope, who's a comedian. We have Clark Gable, not familiar with him. Here we have whatever Stark. Iron Man. Iron Man, Stark. Tony Stark. Tony Stark, the different Iron Man guys. Those are pretty unique. Oh, here we have uh, whoever that is. Nicole, oh, here's Nicole Kidman, Milan Rouge. Here we have uh, Jimmy Fallon. It's Justin Timberlake for sure. These guys. Yeah, it, looks, it looks pretty realistic to be honest with you. Oh look, there's us on the TV. Look, I'm looking, like I'm recording me and looking at the camera. Here we have uh, Colin Farrell, telephone ring. Nobody is answering. <laughs> oh, Ninja Turtles. Nice. I'm assuming we're getting into Marvel people. That's a freaky window. Jack Nicholson Batman. Yeah, that's like old Joker. This is old Batman. I mean, I hate to say it, but this that's not a very good sculpture. That's one of the not good ones. Whoever this lady is. Oh, uh, this guy taking pictures. Christopher Reeve, Superman. No, that's Matt Damon. Uh, oh, that. Identity. That's Matt Damon. Here's Superman. And who the heck's this lady? Strapped with bombs. The Vault. You have 30 seconds. Here's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Will Smith, Hancock. This is uh, Mr. T. Here's the Obamas. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding, Al Pacino. And Marlon. Whoever these people are, Ek the Tiger. Here we have Adam Stanley, I have you go It looks respectable. This is, is that Forrest Gump? Yeah. Life's like a box of chocolates. Mike Myers, 
Austin Thank Powers. Thank you, my middle name. Very psychedelic, yeah! Uh, Fatal Attraction? Fatal Attraction? I don't think so. Every this looks, uh, looks pretty gruesome. I don't go in this part. The scary part? Invisible Predator. Get it? It's invisible. And there's nothing here. But then we have Predator. Soon the hunt will begin. Here's this guy. And there's the other, there's the Predator back there. Oh, uh, yeah. That's uh, Tomb Raider, right? Yep. Tomb Raider. Laura King Kong. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, from uh, Jujumafu. Jumanji. Or Jumanji, yeah, that one. Jumanji. Jack Black. He's getting eaten. Tom Cruise, the mummy. What kind of underwear do mummies wear? I don't know. Fruit of the tomb. Uh, <laughs> what kind of underwear do mummies wear? Fruit of the tomb. Uh, it looks very, very small. Oh, yeah. Gollum, Lord of the Rings, very small. Gandalf. Gandalf looks respectable. Here is Harry Potter. Here is uh, Braveheart, Mel Gibson. Here we have a bear. And is this Dr. Doolittle? Okay. Is this uh, Hunger Games? Hunger Games. Yeah. E.T. Disney. Is who? Which we all know Snow White, but which divorce? Snow White does not look very accurate. But here we have uh, the dwarves. Dwarves look pretty cool. You can test you there. It like tells it's supposed to light up which one's which. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Dorothy kind of looks like a man. Every creature has a brain. And there's, I guess, the guy. The Wizard of Oz. There's your Alien leader, Mars attacks. Sam sends. Let's go to the Movie Land Museum of the Stars in Niagara Falls, Canada. Yeah. That's a newer Batman from the new movies. And we have Darth Vader, Yoda. Yoda's the bomb. They need Baby Yoda. They need Baby Yoda now. There's Chewbacca. Uh, Darth Maul, Jar Jar Binks. Here is whatever these people are. Oh, uh, Marilyn Monroe or whatever. It's supposed to make her wind blow up her dress. This is Justin Bieber. I don't know, he looks not very accurate. Here's Cher. I don't know, Cher. Cher looks like she's having too, too many to drink. Miley Cyrus. That does not look like Miley Cyrus at all. Here's Bet or Betty Midler. I don't know who that is. That's not that looks like Shania Twain. Huh. <laughs> I, I feel like they've skimped on some of these people. Reese Witherspoon. Elvis Presley. Here's Katy Perry. That one looks not horrible. Frankenstein. Freddy Krueger. Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Here's the scary part. Here's Tales of the Crypt, or whatever. Enter at your own risk. Is that in here? Okay. Enter at your own risk. Let's do it. Here we go. So there's skulls on the walls. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Now we have mirrors. So we made it out of the uh, made it out of the haunted house alive. Um, Jen, what do you think of it? No, no, no. And now, of course, it's classic exit through the gift shop. So I guess that's uh, that's whatever the wax museum is like. Do you like it? Pretty cool. They is need it? to like work on their skills though. They need to work on their skills. <laughs> Nothing great. Slacking. So we're also going to go on this uh, Wild West 6D ride roller coaster thing, which I would share the experience with you if I could, but we won't be able to because it's like sit on a seat and it moves you, masks and all that stuff. But then uh, we have five game tokens as well, so play a game. Win prizes. Win prizes. I think we're doing all right. We just won 250 tickets. Just let you let that run on. They <laughs> <laughs> only need ten thousand. You're, you're disappearing, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many? 250. 250. Love you. Thank you. Still going. It's been going for like over a minute now. Still going. Jen's just rolling them now. I definitely was punching those really harder than I needed to. I'm gonna like break my hand. Still going. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I split my knuckle open, I think. Oh, there we go. Finally stopped. Good job, Jen. That's what 300 tickets look like bundled up. Hashtag winning. Ah! Fail. <laughs> the lead line should be 250, right? Yeah. Plus the others. Yeah. Ticket eater. Sixty-five. All right, so we are here at the Niagara Skywheel, which has been in multiple videos before. I've seen before, but finally we're going on it. So this is a very, very, very large Ferris wheel. So this will be pretty cool. Excited to go on it. We actually had like little passes to do all this stuff, and I just lost mine, but we just also found it. So very lucky about that. So yeah, uh, this should be good. And here are the little pods. Very high up. New dynamic. <laughs> Jen has never been on a Ferris wheel in her life, let alone a gigantic <laughs> Ferris wheel. Are you excited? Mixed emotions. Excited and nervous. It's really high up there. It's very high, but it should be good. So, and I even think they're heated. They're pretty bougie. 
All right, here we are in the sky wheel. So let's uh, show you what we're looking at. So there's like behind us, we're obviously raising at the moment. Here we have, there's the falls. There's the, that's the American Falls all lit up. Over there, that's the Canadian Falls, which looks like it's all foggy because there's so much mist. Um, oh, we even have some uh, seductive music to set the mood. We have that part the of Niagara Falls. 175 feet 175 feet, we're gonna mute them. And uh, then there's this way too. So there's Clifton Hill. And this is a good way to see it all. Oh, we stopped up here. Okay, cool, we stopped. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is, uh, this is Clifton Hill. This is Niagara Falls Skull Wheel. Niagara Falls Sky Wheel. What do you think? We're really high up. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a good thing. Very nice. It is good view. Very nice.